Hello everyone, I am Sandra Speth, Research Assistant and PhD student at the University of Stuttgart's Institute of Software Engineering. Today I present you our prototype of the Gamified platform. In general, Gamified is a role-play game-based e-learning platform which supports students in achieving their learning goals by providing Gamified software engineering and computer science-oriented minigames and worlds full of knowledge to explore. The platform is web-based, therefore students and lecturers access it via the browser and the backend runs in containers. Let us take a look at a short demonstration of the platform. We start with the students view. I'm currently logged in with a student account into Gamified. First of all, we select the course we want to take. This loads our Unity game and now we can see the character in the middle of the screen. You can control the character by pressing W a, S, and D, and interact with elements in the world by pressing E, for example, with the sign here. Okay, the sign tells us if we're lost, then we can take a look at the navigation map above. Nice, so let's take a look there. We can also sprint with shift to be faster. Um, here we can see the first world of Gamify it. It's blooming savanna, as we can also read below our minimap, which we can zoom out and in. Within this world, our lecturer has hidden five minigames, which we want to uh, find and solve to unlock achievements, dungeons, and new worlds. But first of all, let's take a look at the world. Within the world, there are books hidden. For example, here, we can read the books by pressing E. This book tells us something about Java collections. We can also interact with non-playable characters like that one here. Um, oh, my dear adventurer, you seek wisdom, I see. Okay, this one doesn't tell us much, but there are also characters hidden uh, who will give us some content. Okay, let's explore the world and maybe find the first minigame. Okay, I see in the mini gap, in the minimap that there is a character. And he also wants to speak with us, signed through the speech bubble above his head. Let's talk to him. There's much to see here. Oh, maybe that's a hint. And we can also see here some red fires or something like that. So when walking towards there, we have found our first mini game. Okay, the first mini game we found is the chicken shock mini game. And it seems we did not solve that yet. We have a high score of zero percent. Let's play it. This loads Unity game within our Unity game. And the idea of Chicken Shock is having a more gamified version of a single or multiple choice game. Let's start the game. The idea is to answer questions and the chickens have answers above their heads. The first question is which Java class supports unordered collections with no duplicates? I guess that's the set. Oh, I missed a shot. There's also a timer running low. Uh, which Java class implements an ordered collection that supports duplicates? Ah, oh, I again missed. And now in the last second, I fortunately could shoot the correct chicken. Okay, we can play again, but let's focus on different mini games. I will come back in the video when I found another one. And until then, see you later. Okay, when walking through the world, I found another NPC to talk about with. And the NPC is called Helga and tells us that she lives in a Tower of Stones. So not really interesting, but I guess that one is the Tower of Stones. And it seems that one is also a dungeon, which we have not unlocked yet. However, we also find here another mini game, which is called Bug Finder. So let's play that one. This time it's not a Unity based mini game, but just plain HTML and JavaScript. Let's start the mini game. We have source code here on the left side and some kind of chat with the mini game um, on the right side. And the idea is to click on the, let's call them tokens, which might be buggy. So if we think the first one is buggy, then we click on that and we can give some solutions there and 
also state which error type we have here. But when taking a look at the code snippet, I guess the error will be behind there because person is on the right side and student is on the left side. And I guess this person should be either nothing or student to be correct Java code. And this should be a uh, static semantic error type. Let's check. I want to submit. Okay, I think I found the bug. Is the program, program now running? And the bot will tell us, oh yes, it works. Thank you very much. So it seems we found uh, the correct bug and can finish the game. So how does the game look like if we select the wrong one? Just restart it. And maybe now we do something totally stupid. Uh, let's say the, the error was that there was something missing. Oh no, we did not find the bug. But as we knew before, we already found the bug. So yeah, let's continue our search. Oh, nice. Here's a raccoon hidden. You can talk to the raccoon. I know there's a mini game close by. I guess we already found that one. And I can see here on the lower part of the screen, there's another one. So I walk there and we will see you soon. Okay, so the third mini game I found is the finite quiz mini game. This is basically a normal single choice game lecturers can configure. Um, we have a current score of zero of zero and here are some questions and answers. So which list implementation exists in the Java base class library? I would say this is the linked list and we answer the right question our lecturer provided to us and we can close and finish up the mini game. Let's take a look at the next mini game. Okay, we already have found one here. It's a crossword puzzle. Um, here we have in total seven statements and we have to solve this crossword puzzle. The first question is uh, to find a term for a list which supports fast random insertion. Maybe that's the linked list. Let's find out later if we are correct. Second question, interface to traverse all collection elements. Iterator should be the right one. Third one, interface for traversable structures. Iterable. Ah, I missed the I. Iter yeah. Okay. The fourth one, a first in, first out structure. This should be the queue. The fifth one, list on array backend. Array list. And the seventh dictionary like structure. Map. Why is there an A, not an M? Map. Oh, I missed the LIFO. That's the stack. And now evaluate. It seems everything is right. We can also try out a wrong answer, maybe. Let's start the game. We have a different pattern here. And maybe we answer just that one. Q, evaluate. And it seems we don't. We did not find the correct answers, but maybe next time. Close the minigame. After finishing the minigame, the flames become blue. Okay, so the I think we found all four mini, different minigames. There's also a fifth one hidden, which is, I think, just a repetition of the finite game. So let's take a look at the lecturer's view of the game. I switched to our lectures account and as you can see here's another point with the setup we have the lectures interface and the user management let's take a look at the lectures interface because that one is more interesting and now we want to take a look in 
at the course we just played. We could clone the course, we can also create a new course, but let's click on that to edit that one. So we have here some, some information, description, semester, whether it's active or not. And we have the worlds, blooming savanna, sunny beach, magic forest, and winter wonderland. We configured and played the blooming savanna, so let's take a look at that. There are different mini games, NPCs. We can add descriptions for books. We can add descriptions for. We can configure dungeons, which also have mini games, NPCs, and books. And for the mini games, we have several positions the mini games could be at. And for example, the, the first one was the chicken shock mini game we played. We could also select here which mini game we want, and we can also edit the game by adding questions, import configurations, export configurations, update the, the time, add a new question, and stuff like that. So basically, if we want to add a new mini game, then we, for example, let's select 11. We want to create another, another chicken shock game first. As you can see in the list, we provide and gamify it right now in a work in progress status, but we will also provide fully implemented ones for regex game, git card game, and we plan to integrate a UML game. Um, okay, let's select the chicken shock. It was updated to chicken shock. Edit. We want to add a question and then we can add the question, correct answer and wrong answer. Let's cancel and remove that one. Okay, so that was the presentation of our Gamified platform. As in the beginning already told, you can deploy it via containers. Um, you can find the, the source code by going to the GitHub page. You can find it under github.com slash gamify slash IT. This will bring you to our organization. And um, there's a readme how to set up developer manuals, user manuals, etc. So thank you for listening and guys, girls, non-binary pals, I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye bye.